What makes a good partnership? Is it 50-50, perhaps 75-25, or some other percentage? It has been said that the most successful partnerships are made up of two parties brought together by a common goal, each contributing 100% effort to achieve them. There is no better example of that principle than the six-decade partnership between the communities of Tazewell County and Hopedale Medical Complex. It is the story of a family of doctors, literally and figuratively, who, when joined with the communities of central Tazewell County, achieved things that no one thought possible or even imagined. The vision for this effort was the inspiration of Dr. Lawrence Rossi back in 1954, who created a medical legend of the little hospital that could. Backed by the generous moral and financial support of the area patriarchs, many of them your relatives, this hospital on the prairie has delivered a string of firsts that rival the famous family medical clinics like Mayo in Minnesota or the Leahy in Boston. For nearly six decades, the doctors, nurses, and staff at Hopedale have given 100% to the people here in central Illinois in their individual times of hurting, healing, and growing. In turn, each time growing pains have beset Hopedale Medical, the communities here in the heartland of mid-America have given back with the same intensity by stepping up to raise the capital needed to expand. From its very beginning, the essence of Hopedale has been the heart of a servant. That heart started beating with the very first shovel of broken ground turned by Dr. Rossi and community leaders back in 1955. Hopedale has followed that servant's heart ever since, often contrary to the conventional medical wisdom of the day. The result has been much more than the creation of a medical organization, rather the creation of a medical legend, and with it a new standard in medical care that other hospitals around the nation have strived to follow. We're a small hospital, and uh, we've always been a family-run organization from my dad's days up to present. The advantage to that is you get a lot of personalized care here. I think my brothers and myself, we, we look at this organization as being the last bastion of private practice, where a patient can come in, see the same doctor every time they come here, get specialized care, and get personalized care. And Anywhere else you go in any large group, that's pretty hard to do. Difficult to do, yes, but the founder's mission was simple. Maintain world-class medical care in a rural setting, anticipating needs instead of reacting to them. 1955, 56, around in there, uh, people with a broken hip stayed in the hospital 90 days, three months. That reduced our bed capacity, and it pointed out to us that if we had a place to take care of long-term illness, and if somehow it could be operated by the hospital so that these people could receive hospital care, uh, that it would, it would liberate the acute care beds, and it would cost a lot less money for the patient. Such was the birth of the first nursing home attached and operated by a hospital, not just in Illinois, but anywhere. Within a year, more than 700 nursing homes around the nation followed suit. But that innovation was just the beginning of a new era of integrated health care. Just as we saw the need for a nursing home with the long-term care patient was in the hospital, we also saw the need for another facility. When elderly people who were not sick would come into the nursing home to live, it was the most depressing thing that could happen to them. So we thought, well, let's have another facility where the old folks can go that don't need hospital care or nursing care. This cycle of anticipate, prescribe, and act has led to a string of accomplishments within the confines of the Hopedale Medical Complex. From the surgery room. We've always had high-end equipment. We've got a huge full-service lab that most small hospitals would never dream of having because we do so much stuff here. We've got an operating room that's second to none, you know, video equipment and laparoscopic stuff. And we've got it. We were the first hospital in the state of Illinois to have an angiography suite built in our hospital and our operating. We put it in ourselves. 
We did that. Now every big hospital has. It. That was 20 years ago. To the weight room. Through the years, as needs would arise, Hopedale would improvise. Other innovations started by Hopedale include an assisted living center, an independent living center for the elderly, an alcohol treatment center for the elderly, a fitness center, and satellite clinics in the small surrounding communities, all tied to a central critical care hospital, all designed to deliver state-of-the-art care to young and old alike. As a result of the generous and bold support of the community, along with the tireless dedication of the second generation of Rossi doctors and staff, the citizens of Tazewell County enjoy a global health care environment where health care from primary to acute, from pediatric to geriatric, is attained in a single integrated medical universe, providing seamless first-class care that has drawn attention the world around. Dr. Lawrence Rossi, Dr. Larry Rossi Jr., Dr. Phil Rossi, Dr. Alfred Rossi, Dr. Lisa Rossi, and the remaining Rossis, Laura, Cynthia, Marietta, Rita, Mark, and the mother of this big family, Lorraine. But the legacy of your support, contributions, endowments, and gifts is not only measured in the well-being of the patients, it's also measured in the well-being of the community as well. Hopedale Medical has been looking to the health of the community in the same way that it's been taking care of patients individually, diagnosing symptoms and prescribing solutions before they become problems. Through the years, Hopedale has sponsored local events like rodeos and golf tournaments, donations for park pavilions, and support for local education and business development exploring and assisting in the development of new technology that could bring real new economic growth to the surrounding communities. As a corporate responsibility, you know, we, we uh, uh, issue uh, $19,000 a year in health care and farm scholarships to area high school seniors. We've been doing that since 1980. We provide sports medicine services to five area high schools. Well, I think if it hadn't been for Hopedale Medical Complex, we may not be. Um, five years ago when we were getting ready to start the school, um, talking with people in the in the area, one of the focus areas was, okay, where does the support come to start something like this? Because a, a private Christian school needs to have backing. They've always been just 100% behind what we're doing across the street. And because of that, we're 100% behind what they're doing across the street. So uh, it's, it's a, a very good connection. Yet for the many rays of sunlight, this partnership of doctor and donor has brought to Central Illinois, the clouds do gather and darken on the horizon. The changing demographics of rural America, the uncertainty of the unfolding national health care policy, the rapid changes in the technology of medicine and specialization of doctors present a potentially harmful picture to this splendid 60-year experiment in self-contained health care. Tomorrow's doctors will be harder to recruit without the emerging specialized technology of medicine. Our biggest issue is that our physical plant is 55 years old. So, you know, the, all the water pipings in the floors and they're constantly tearing up tile. And I mean, the place just needs to be dressed up and fixed up. Other problems with the way rural medicine is practiced need to be addressed too. Modern acute care equipment requires more than eight feet of ceiling height, not to mention it is expensive. You can't even buy a monitor for under twenty-five, fifty thousand dollars $50,000. I mean, nothing is cheap. You know, a stand for laparoscopic equipment with two or three monitors on it is almost a million dollars anymore. I mean, it's like, you know, there's just no end to the cost of the stuff. Currently, for medevac helicopters to land, the hospital must close a main road in town. To make medical airlift safer, the hospital needs a heliport. The tools to assist tomorrow's specialized doctors to practice in a universe where more is being done on an outpatient basis needs to be addressed to bring the best care and doctors to the prairie. By addressing these pressing issues today, we can create the environment that will attract the next generation of exceptional and dedicated physicians to better care for our families and neighbors. This expansion is very important to this community. We need to be up to date with all the things that are going on. We need the state of the art equipment. We need to keep going as, as things keep changing. The care here is excellent. Uh, other facilities, I've been to other hospitals and the care is not there, you're just a number. Here the doctors know you, they know your family and they know everything about you and they take care of you. You know, we use our money wisely. Um, we're a not-for-profit organization and 
Every dime of profit we've ever made has gone back into the facility. Once again, the life of Hopedale Medical has come full circle, and the foundation is seeking the support from those in the community who can see and share in the vision of tomorrow and the goodness that comes from the heart of the servant, continuing its mission for our future generations. As a 501c3 foundation, IRS recognized charity, you know, donations are, are deductible up to 50% of your adjusted gross income, so that's just like giving to a church or a university. And we're good stewards of the money. Yes, much has been accomplished in 58 years, but much more is left undone. And your gift, your endowment, your donation, large or small, will see the dream through the next 60 years and beyond. Having served with uh, the other uh, local people on the board, we're just continually impressed with the innovations that come from this small organization. And we see the needs that are being satisfied and the needs that are developing. And uh, we just can't quit marveling at uh, what uh, continues to come from Oakdale Medical Complex. We can all do our part to help support the Hopedale Medical Complex with gifts of time, talent, and financial support. Whether you are a corporation or an individual, whether your gift is large or small, it makes a difference in the work we do and the lives we touch. Gifts made to the Hopedale Medical Foundation, a recognized 501c3 charity, are tax deductible. They help sustain HMC's mission to keep our facility state-of-the-art, help us to continue our tradition of providing outstanding health care services and support to our community with scholarships and financial contributions to schools and organizations. There are many ways to give support to the Hopedale Medical Foundation. You might consider an endowment, either general or dedicated to a specific purpose. This can also be a memorial to a loved one. We accept one-time gifts, such as cash, land, or real estate, stocks, or even harvests of grain. Planned giving, which can be done on an ongoing annual or multiple year basis. You might want to make a donation to our capital campaign to expand and improve the medical center. We also encourage and facilitate corporate giving from businesses, physician groups, and other health organizations and can help your organization create a match program. We can also arrange special gifts that allow you a tax deduction while keeping the asset, such as a dedicated stock dividend program. All of these donation options will help us keep the legacy of the Hopedale Medical Foundation alive and healthy so that it, in turn, may keep our communities healthy. You may send donations by mail to the Hopedale Medical Foundation, Attention Endowments, Post Office Box 267, Hopedale, Illinois, 61747, or online at www.hopedalemc.com. Then click on Donate now in the upper right-hand corner. You may also inquire about special gifting by calling 309-449-4394. Your donation today may change the lives of people you know and love tomorrow.